Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here today. As you guys can see up on the screen, we have the play-in stage groups and we are going to be going all the way through the play-in stage. I'm going to be predicting one through six in play-in group A and play-in group B. And then we're going to be matching that up to what the playoff brackets would then look like in the knockout stage. And then we're going to be predicting all four teams that I think will be making it to the main stage of Worlds. This will also give you guys an idea of exactly what the format is going to be and all that stuff. Um, just so you can know exactly what's going on because Worlds starts uh, a week from the day that I'm recording this video. Worlds starts on September 29th. Uh, so it's all coming up very, very soon. So we got to get this kind of stuff out there. Um, so like I said, here's the two groups. Each group is going to be single round robin. Every team in the group is going to play every team just one time. So you're going to get five best of ones. That's going to rate our teams from one to six. The top team in each group, they're automatically going to the world main stage. Uh, and then third and fourth from each group, they're going to play each other. The winner of that is going to play second place from the other group. And then whoever wins that is also going to the world main stage. That's going to happen on both sides for a total of four teams. So this is going to get pretty spicy. This is going to get pretty interesting. So starting off over in group A, I want to start at the bottom. I think that the worst team in Group A, or not even necessarily the worst team in the team that I think is going to finish last, because um, again, when you're playing five best of ones, very volatile, very small sample size. The team who finishes first isn't necessarily the best team. The team who finishes last isn't necessarily the worst team. So I don't want to talk, uh, you know, too much trash unnecessarily. But I do think that Loud, we got them here at the bottom. I do think that they are going to be the bottom. Um, this is the uh, Brazilian team, I do believe. And yeah, Brazil hasn't had the best uh, results as of late. Um, there's been times where Brazil can be a scary team, can be a scary region. And they maybe are going to get better into the future. I know the Brazilian fans are very, very passionate. It seems like they really like League of Legends. Um, but I don't know. I'm not super, super high up on this loud team coming into plans. I'm not expecting all that much from them. Now, the second uh, to last team or the fifth seed, I think this is a little bit close to me. This is actually, I personally think going to be more interesting than a lot of people are giving it credit for. Um, the race between chiefs, esports club and detonation focus me. Now, obviously Osh is a region that has not been looked at that strong as of late, especially, um, you know, since like the OPL kind of dissolved or whatever. And then all the top, uh, uh, Osh players have really gone to North America and they've found some, some teams and the good ones have been successful. The bad ones have just kind of uh, either been in Academy or gone back to Osh, but we've already seen that they aren't that good. So Osh has, has been in a tough spot, but what, from what everyone's saying, this is like an Osh super team. This is like the best of the best. This is, um, you know, the best Osh team that we're ever going to see. There's been quotes like, hey, if this Osh team can't win, then none of them ever can. Uh, and Detonation Focus Me, they have been good before. They've been uh, decent at, at MSI and Worlds, I want to say. And the LJL has definitely been an up and coming region, but Man, this Dead FM team is not the detonation focused me um, from 2021. I believe we saw this team at MSI, and they really weren't that strong. Now it is possible they've gotten better since then, but I actually think there's going to be a very, very close gap, and I almost want to pick Chiefs over detonation focused me. I'm not going to do that, but if I was feeling spicy, I think I would, um, but I am going to be taking Chiefs at five and Dead FM at four, but if these were flipped, I would not be surprised at all. I think I'm much closer to putting Chiefs at four than I am to putting Chiefs at six. Then we get into the next one. I'm going to be going with Beyond Gaming at three. Uh, they are the two seed from the PCS. I do think the PCS um, overall is not as strong as it used to be. I don't think uh, Beyond Gaming is going to be as strong as they were last year. If you remember, a uh, big story with Beyond Gaming last year was Doggo. Obviously, they don't have Doggo anymore. He's kind of a, a guy, kind of a talent that doesn't come around all that often. Um, but I think they'll be fine. But I do think that the PCS overall will be sh uh, weaker than both NA and EU. Uh, and then... In the top two, this is where the controversy is going to go. I'm going with Evil Geniuses, number one, and Fnatic at number two. Now, yes, Fnatic is the super team, but throughout the whole year, I think most people would have said EG was a better team. Again, EG wins the LCS Championship in the spring. EG goes to MSI. They actually make the, the semifinals. Yes, they get 3-0'd, but hey, I'm pretty sure G2 got 3 0 in the semifinals as well. Um, and EG has not looked as good recently, but you have to remember that was with Danny going through, you know, his mental health issues or whatever the heck is going on. And then also Kaori coming in on like a couple days of scrims. Um, now, Kaori, who the EG staff is really, really high on and is actually saying like, 
like, hey, he probably has a better champ pool than Danny. He's better in lane than Danny. Um, and also the meta, as we're hearing, is shifting away from bot lane. Uh, and it's not going to be as bot lane centric. I think that's really, really good for EG. I also think the bot lane meta shifting away is really bad for Fnatic because Upset has been such a beast for them. Um, also, the fact that Fnatic isn't even scrimming right now. They're going to be showing up like last minutes in North America. I don't know. I think this is going to be a mess. Uh, and I think EG, now that they've had a couple weeks to scrim with Kaori, I think they're going to look really, really good. This EG team is talented. I'm picking them to win this group and to, uh, yeah, qualify for the group stage. So we have EG, uh, you know, moving on. And then Fnatic, uh, Beyond Gaming and Detonation Focus Me making it to the knockout stage. I'm going to go through the other side a little bit faster because I don't want to make this video too long. On the other side, uh, I don't think there's as much controversy or anything like that. I think Isaris Gaming, uh, this is the Lat Latam or Latam uh, representative. I think they are the probably the worst team in this group for sure. Um, so I'm going to put them at six. And other than that, I think the other teams are all at least pretty decent. Um, I think Istanbul is going to be a clear five. Um, and then from there, it starts to get really, really interesting. There is absolutely, I think, a case to be made that uh, like for the next three teams, Saigon Buffalo, Mad Lions, and DRX, I really think there's a case to be made that you could put them almost in any order. I think uh, RNG is the clear uh, number one team in this group, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them number one right now. And if you told me you have Mad Lions at four, or if you told me you had Mad Lions at two, I would not really argue with you too much. I think it's a little bit hard pressed to put Saigon Buffalo at two. I think Saigon Buffalo has to be three or four. I think DRX has to be two or three. But if you had Mad at two, three, or four, I, I think you could have a very, very strong argument for any of those. So it's just what Mad Lions do I think? is going to show up uh, and I don't know I, I know that Niski does not always necessarily rise to the occasion uh, occasion especially at these international tournaments especially when playing against you know good teams good mid stuff like that um, so I think they're going to be in a little bit of a rough spot I'm actually uh, especially just in best of ones where it's going to be a little bit rough it's going to be a little bit interesting um, I'm actually going to go like this I'm going to go with DRX at two I'm going to go with Saigon Buffalo at three and Mad Lions at four. Now the difference between three and four doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, maybe this is just for spiciness because they're going to end up playing in a best of five anyway. But this is at least what I'm rocking with for now. Uh, and this sets us up for a third and fourth matchup between uh, Beyond Gaming, which is BYG, uh, and then Detonation Focus Me, uh, which is uh, like DetFM. I, I don't know exactly what they're... I don't know if DFM is their uh, abbreviation or what. But uh, in this series, I, I don't really think this is going to be all that close. I think the PCS should be significantly stronger. Uh, I'm actually going to be going with uh, Beyond Gaming with a 3-0 against DetFM. Uh, and then that is going to set up a Beyond gaming uh, to tank on the two seed from the other side, which is going to be uh, DRX against BYG. Um, and this is another one that I don't know if it's going to be all that close. This is the two seed from the PCS against the four seed from Korea. Uh, and I do think DRX is honestly not that strong of a team. They've been really inconsistent throughout the whole year. Um, obviously, they, they made it to World, so they, they had to do some stuff towards the end of the year. But I'm not really totally convinced with them. But I still think they should be significantly better than the two seed from the PCS. But I, I think this could end up being a close series and I hope it's a close fun and interesting one um, overall I see DRX taking this three to two over BYG maybe giving them a little bit of a scare uh, maybe BYG is even able to get like a lead in the series or something like that but um, I do think BYG will ultimately uh, be going home with DRX uh, qualifying for for the main stage of world over here obviously we have RNG qualifying as well so now we have a couple of teams battling for this final spot uh, I want to make sure my, my cam doesn't cover this up so we have the three and four seed Mad Lions against uh, Saigon Buffalo in a best of five. I'm just going to put BUF. I don't, I don't really know what their, uh, what their thing is. But Mad Lions against Saigon Buffalo, I do think this is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be spicy, especially in this world where Saigon Buffalo takes down uh, Mad Lions in the bracket stage. But... I do think Mad Lions will be able to rise up. I do think hopefully the LEC should be a stronger team, especially in best of fives where the, the stronger team should theoretically win out more often. Yes, Mad Lions, I do believe, is the only team ever in world history to qualify without winning a single best of five. So it's not like they've been insane in best of fives as of late. Um, but Mad Lions, you know, there's already so much talk about, oh, they're the only major region team to never uh, make it out of plans and yada, 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 all this stuff. That's going to add some extra pressure, but it's also going to maybe have a chip on their shoulder. I think they'll be able to take down Saigon Buffalo, but again, I think the VCS is going to be scary. I think they're going to be a tough out, um, and I don't think this is going to be a cakewalk for Mad Lions by any means. I see Mad taking this 3-2, to two, and then this sets up a date uh, with two EU teams, which... This is going to be fun. This is going to be a banger. There's going to be a lot on the line here between Mad Lions and Fnatic. Uh, and overall, 
I see this being all Fnatic. I see Mad Lions really getting the short end of the stick here. I'm going with Fnatic 3-1 to one, uh, over Mad Lions. I could even see this being a 3-0. I think, um, you know, Mad Lions is just coming in uh, just with not a lot of momentum. A rough end to the LEC regular season. Obviously, a rough end to the LEC playoffs. Um and just a couple players that I'm really worried about going internationally. You know, Unforgiven is going to be his first international experience. Niski, a guy, again, who has not done great internationally. Arma, a guy who's a real, real, real question mark. And Fnatic just has so much experience, so much talent. Um, again, I don't like the meta shifting away from bot lane for them. And I don't like how inconsistent Fnatic has been the whole year. But this is plans. There's not that many good teams here. Fnatic should be able to get out of this with no problem. And ultimately, these are the four teams that I see moving on. This is chalk. This is nothing too spicy. This is nothing too crazy. Crazy. Maybe there's some interesting picks getting here, but I do see EG, Fnatic, DRX, and RNG all making it out. I kind of hope this doesn't happen. I hope we do get at least one upset. But again, when you have best of fives, uh, ultimately at the end of the day, there shouldn't be too many upsets. The, the better teams should win most often. I do think these are the four best teams at play-ins. And that's why I see them all moving on. Obviously, you can argue about who's going to win the small games in between and how they're going to get there and all that stuff. Um, but for what's exactly going to happen, we're going to have to wait and see. But again, this is all kicking off on September 29th. On the first day, we actually have EG against Fnatic and we have DRX against RNG, two of the biggest games of the entire entire plans happening on the first day uh, and whoever wins those games is going to be in a great position to win the group and whoever loses those games uh, is then you know really going to be putting themselves at risk of heading to the best of five so it's going to get spicy it's going to get interesting right off the bat and I know that I'm very very excited this is going to be the best playing stage we've ever had in world's history so I hope you guys tune in but that's pretty much it for this video today definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it I would appreciate that so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today subscribe save today and all my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then Peace.